back with Grown Up stars Barry Williams and Cindy Olsen from the Brady Bunch and Soleil Moon Fry who played Punky Brewster. Joining us now are two of the stars from the TV sitcom Family Affair. Johnny Whitaker who played Jody and Kathy Garber who played Sissy. Oh, there now there's the recognition. Ah, okay. <laughs> to ask you, because I know you were both very affected when you lost your co-star from the series, Anissa Jones, uh, to a drug overdose, was it? Yes. Kathy, did you know she was in trouble? Well, it was interesting listening to what Soleil was saying, because I think when you are in a situation comedy that's so well known, and once the, the show stops, what she wanted more than anything was to be a normal person. She wanted to be like everybody else. And she was offered the part in The Exorcist. She turned it down. She didn't want to be in show business. I went to her 18th birthday party, and her mother said, can you please get together with her because I think she's hanging out with the wrong people, and I, she needs a different kind of an influence. And I said, well, yes, I'd be happy to. Unfortunately, I was going back, back east to do My Fair Lady, and when I came back, she had already taken uh, an overdose, and you know, there was nothing I could do at that point. So you're saying what, that the pressure, I mean, Johnny, did you see this with her, that the pressure of the, of the business or not being in the business, um, falling in with the wrong people led to her? Well, I, I really don't know why or how. I just know that it happened and that it happens to everybody. I mean, to, to, to all walks of life. But to Anissa, um, my agent, Mary Grady, who's like a mom to me, at the time was living around the corner from Anissa and had seen her with the wrong friends and looking a little bit off norm normalcy and uh, when it happened it was a shock to me and uh, I was in Salt Lake City at the time and I called immediately to find out what was going on and um, she had passed away and you left the business at one point well I had worked from the time I was gosh six until three years old actually until I was 16 uh, and so more than 10 years, I hadn't had a normal life. I said, this is kind of scary. I don't know if this, this is what I want to do. So I stopped and got out of the business for a while. And did you want to go back to it at any point? Well, I did little things here and there. But uh, at the age of uh, 19, I then went on a mission for the Mormon Church to Portugal. Didn't read about that in the National Enquirer. <laughs> <laughs> they left that one alone. <laughs> Shame for them. Now, Looking back, I mean, how do you feel those years growing up, again, in the public eye and a very sort of fishbowl existence affected the way you grew up? You can't help but be different because immediately you don't get to go through the steps of childhood that are normal. You are thrown into a, uh, a peer group, which are adults. You are thrown into a, uh, uh, a career. You are thrown into uh, people that you're now an adult. I mean, when I went back to normal school, when the teacher said quiet, it was like quiet on the set. I was the only one of the kids who folded my arms. Well, at least you got you something, <laughs> you, you were a little bit, I mean, you weren't older, but you were, you were a little bit older. I mean, was it like tunnel fun on the set, like we were hearing about behind the scenes at the Brady Bunch? What was it like for you? Well, actually, I was in the middle of two separate groups. I had the six-year-olds on one side and had the 50-year-olds on the other side. So I was a teenager that I really didn't have anybody to hang out with. And when they would set me up with my romantic dates on the show, uh, I was supposed to be playing a 15-year-old, and I was actually a sophisticated 18-year-old, but they got me, you know, guys that, you know, were like 16, 17, and that I really wouldn't be interested in, so it really wasn't a lot of fun on the set. Oh, I'm well. I'm sorry, John. Life got better. I mean, Things got better for you. What happened after the show ended for you, Kathy? Well... <clears throat> what I did was go to the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art. I had graduated from UCLA with a bachelor's degree in speech, and I thought, well, I need to break out of this syndrome of nice sitcom girl. And, hey, Richard Chamberlain did it, and so I thought, well, I'll go to the Royal Academy, which I did. And I said, I don't deserve the success. I should really suffer for my art. And I lived in a basement apartment, and I can really recite Shakespeare now, but there's not a lot of call for Midsummer's Night Dream in the top ten. So um, it, was, it was a good experience, though, and I feel well-rounded as an actress from doing that. And you're still doing, you, you have a life now in, in uh, California. Right. And you have a family. Yes. Which is the most important job of all. It is, it is, and takes a lot of time, but it's terrific. You uh, have a young child? 
I just had, well now, not just, he's, he's two years old, and as you can tell, because I haven't had my face lift yet, I am into my 40s. <laughs> tell us how, are you like, are you like, you're into your 40s. I'm well into my 40s. <laughs> yes. Well, this is a good message for women who yeah. still want to be a mother, or first time, you're a first time mom? First time mom. <gasps> we hear that magical voice. I hear a little voice. Is yes. Reed here? Reed is, Reed is here? Are we bringing Reed on? Oh, Are we going to meet Reed? Oh, certainly we should meet Reed. Hey. Come on down. Here he is. Oh, wow. Hey. Hey. Hi. Oh, he likes being on television. Hello. Hi, Reed. Say hi, Jane. Oh. Hi. Hey. Better than having your own show. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> All right. We're going to jump in with a break right now. Next, in case you ever wondered what happened to little Vicky on the love boat, you, you've all wondered that, right? <laughs> yes, I knew you had. We're going to find out when we come back. We'll be back.